he gets up there and he starts to teach on it and preach on it. And all of a sudden, some folks begin to receive the Holy Ghost, fall out on the floor and pray in tongues. Well, before you know it, everybody else is talking about it. Pretty soon, it's beginning to be noise abroad that the Pentecostal restoration has come to California and is there. But all of a sudden, the house fills up. People got the windows open. They got their head through the window trying to hear what's going on and receive. Seymour realizes we've got to do something. One, we don't have enough room for the people. And number two, we're always getting in trouble with the policemen here and this won't last forever. So they begin to look for a building called 312 Azusa Street. It was a church, a horse, and then it came back into being a church when Seymour went over to rent it. Seymour and a few of the men went over, cleaned it out, swept it out, and they began to hold meetings. And all of a sudden, the whole thing would fill up. It could seat, I was told, up to 1,200 people could squish in. And for three and a half years, day and night, there never was a time when there was not a service or something going on in the altar of Azusa Street.